Hello and welcome to Trojans Live. I am Jordan Moore here in the KBC studios, joined by the All-American Sean Cody, who is broadcasting live again from his home. Sean, did you fill out your bracket yet? Not yet, Jordan, not yet. I like to wait till the last moment, get all my details in, do all my research, and then I'll, uh, I'll pinpoint my team. Man, it's, it's a big week. We're going dancing. Here we go, Jordan. We're going dancing. The Trojans are a six seed, thanks in large part to our next guest. Rebound to Evan Mobley. He'll hold on. Evan Mobley did everything on that possession. That one's going to bank in for Evan Mobley. Driving kick to Mobley. Evan Mobley baseline jump shot is good. Evan Mobley top of the key three on the way is good. Evan knocks it through. Evan goes baseline, goes right around him and throws it down with the left hand. We are joined now by the Pac-12 Player of the Year, the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. There's not an award that he did not win in the Pac-12 this year. Evan Mobley live from Indianapolis. Uh, Evan, what's going on, man? What, what's life like in the bubble? Um, pretty boring so far. Uh, we haven't really done much, um, but it's, it's good. Evan, it's, it's been a, a while since we talked. It's, it's, it feels like an, a lifetime ago. Uh, how was this first year of hoops for you? I know there's there's still some more on the bone here. We still got some uh, some more basketball to play. But how was this? How was this first collegiate year of football or uh, basketball for you? Um, it's amazing. Uh, I felt like I, I did my best I could possibly do. Uh, every time I stepped on the floor, uh, just try to show everybody uh, what I was capable of, and I felt like it went well for me so far. And it seems like it's getting better. Just watching you in Las Vegas, uh, it was the most aggressive we had seen you offensively. You go for 26 points in both games, both season highs. What, what caused that, that aggression? Is, is that a mindset for you? Is that the time of year? Is it just the coverages you saw? What, what led to you being uber aggressive at the offensive end? Um, I think just overall, Mark Maddis, it being the playoffs, um, just really focus, uh, try to keep coming to the game, uh, get the wins, and uh, try to win the championship. Um, it didn't really happen, but we get another chance in March Madness this year. You know, Jordan mentioned it a little bit, Evan. You, you go into the year, it's your first year. You're kind of trying to fill your way out. How, how did you feel your game evolved? Obviously, we saw you play big in the Pac-12 tournament. How did, how did your game evolve throughout the year? Um. Early on, uh, I felt like I was doing good, uh, doing all my uh, natural moves. Um, I had to adapt throughout the year uh, when teams started doubling me or uh, playing gaps with me, uh, trying to adapt my game. Um, these last few games, you saw me shooting more. Uh, definitely worked on that. And um, I think overall, I just uh, gradually just try to keep, keep getting better throughout the season. You're listening to Evan Mobley, the Pac-12 Player of the Year, first Pac-12 Player of the Year in uh, just about 20 years for the Trojans. And uh, he's leading them into March Madness, the sixth seed. They'll take on the winner of Drake or Wichita State. That'll be on Saturday afternoon. And Evan, you know, I've talked to you, obviously, a bunch this year. One question I have not asked you, but something that I've noticed and have forgotten to ask, do you prefer to dunk with your left hand? Yeah. Um, Why? I don't know. Is it uh, when I was younger, I broke my wrist uh, growing up, and then that was the time when I was dunking more. So it just I started dunking more left-handed, and then it's just that's what I normally do. It's usually left hand or two hands. I can dunk with the right, but it's just more natural. Yeah, I mean, are you you're you do everything in life right-handed? I assume, or are you ambidextrous? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm right-handed. Um, okay, I can do things with my left, but I'm mostly right-handed. Because it does seem like you you are very skilled with your left hand. Is that just you and your dad and your brother and the work over time to to be so uh, be able to finish well with with both hands? Uh, yeah, just uh, working on touch with both hands, uh, shooting with uh, both hands inside in the post, and um, yeah, just hard work. Evan, you had your first uh, selection Sunday there, and it's, you could see how excited you guys were to be a part of the part of the tournament. And and you know, Coach Enfield, we talked to him last week, and getting you guys ready for this time of year. And what what has been his message, you know, to try to make a deep run into this tournament? What what are you guys focusing on to try to, uh, like I said, make a deep run? Um, I feel like we just have to really buckle down and focus because um, at the, at this point in the season, a lot of teams. Uh, can be a little out of it or so, but uh, we're very excited to be in this situation and um, just keep playing in the postseason. So um, I think it just comes down to focus and hard work. 
You're listening to Evan Mobley on Trojans Live. And Evan, obviously something I think everyone sort of noticed about you is they've gotten to know you or at least gotten to see you over the course of the season. You are stoic, man. I mean, you don't give away much with your emotions uh, when you're out there playing. You know, I, I'm a big tennis fan. I think of guys like Bjorn Borg, Roger Federer, great stoic athletes, Tim Duncan in basketball uh, is a stoic athlete. Is it something that you do on purpose or is there a lot churning inside and you just don't show it? Is it just naturally how you are? Uh, explain sort of your demeanor on court and, and maybe just in life. Um, I feel like I'm naturally just a mellow person, always on and off the floor. Um, so uh, I may have like a lot of emotions or some happens, but usually it doesn't uh, show my face too much. Uh, I usually have a straight face in a lot of things that I do. So. Yeah, this has been a, a tough year for everybody, especially, you know, this being your first, you know, collegiate season and you, you walk into all the COVID protocols and all the things you had to go to, to play this year. I was wondering, you know, what the, what's been the toughest for you uh, as a player to kind of cope throughout this year and figure out, you know, the, the best way to play ball and, and under these tough circumstances? Um, probably not being able to get into the gym uh, whenever you want. Um, you have to go on like certain times or like only during practice times and stuff. So you you gotta make really a like you can make a reservation for the gym, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you can't really work on your game uh, on your own or anything like that. And also just uh, staying in the house a lot, um, not really doing anything. Um, you just gotta stay uh, quarantined and uh, protected so you can keep playing throughout the season. All right, two quick ones. You're the Pac-12 Player of the Year, but you're also the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year. What? What gives you more joy, more satisfaction, a big dunk or a big block shot? Um, honestly, I like blocks a lot because um, I don't even know why. I just uh, I get a, a better feel like when I really block it like out of the, the gym is like an amazing feeling. So that's my second question then. Is it feel better for you if you like block it when it's still in someone's hand and you're really stuffing it back in their face? Or is it more fun to swat it out of the air like you did late in the in the Colorado game? Um, I like swatting it out the air a lot. Um, a lot of times they, they want us to like keep the ball into play so we can keep yeah. playing. But uh, <laughs> swatting it out the air is fun. Also, sometimes uh, if I get like the opportunity, I'll – catch it out there but i haven't got that chance this year so far yeah you had a good one in high school i remember we posted a highlight last year where you just sort of swallowed a ball in midair yeah that's my <laughs> favorite all right well the trojans will sit and wait and see who their first round opponent is drake and wichita state will play on thursday night and then usc against the winner of that game will tip off at 1 30 pacific time on saturday it'll be right here on the trojans media network 790 kbc will go on at 115 evan mobley will be in the big dance thanks evan for joining us again good luck on saturday good luck on a long tournament run there in indianapolis